whole life. Back here on MS TV and BradentonMarauders.com as we continue to go through a couple of the 2010 Marauders here in the offseason. We're joined by left-handed reliever Tyler Cox. Uh, first off, you're up here for minicamp, so another baseball season on the horizon. Uh, is that crazy, sitting here in January to say that? Oh, it's re- actually really nice to be down here. You know, back home in the Chicago area, we got five inches of snow and it's zero degrees, so I'm thrilled to be down here. What's your offseason been like, kind of taking me through uh, the last three months in terms of rest or or rehab or or just workouts? What's been going on for you? Uh, You know, always working out and running, trying to stay in shape. As far as throwing, I just got fired up about two weeks ago and just relaxed and ready for the season to start. Chicago Bears games, anything like that? Bulls games? Never miss a Bears game. Can't wait. They're going to take on the Seahawks this weekend. In person or, or, or did you just catch them on TV? Oh, no. I watched them on TV. Didn't get to the game. Can I get a winner, Seahawks, Bears this week? Bears by 14. Bears by 14 from Tyler <laughs> Cox. Um, take a look back at uh, 2010 for me. Uh, from a baseball perspective, uh, how did you do? I know you skipped a level. Uh, so you went straight, straight from straight, straight from State College up to, to the Marauders. Uh, what kind of challenges did that pose for you in terms of uh, – uh, different looks, different types of hitters, and, and how'd you adapt? Uh, well, I think the season ended up fairly well for me. Um, I was also making a transition as a starter into the bullpen. So as far as, you know, kind of going from the spikes to the marauders was, you know, it was a challenge, but I I like challenges. You know, anytime you are given a reason to step up to something, I think it's fun. What is, uh, I guess, on your docket now uh, as you look toward 2011, things that uh, maybe came up last year, things you want to improve on, things you want to make strides with, uh, I guess, this season, but but first and foremost in the spring training months? I think just uh, staying consistent with pitching in the strike zone. Um, You know, just always working ahead, trying to get guys out with as few pitches as possible. How about uh, when you look at uh, these mini camp weeks, uh, what, what are the kinds of things that you guys do um, coming in in January, just getting a week here to work out and, and meet some maybe new teammates and, and meet some new staff members? You know, just just try to keep the team morale up. You know, meet, meet all the new guys that have just came in that you didn't know before and just jump, get a jump start to get everything ready, fine-tuned for spring training coming up. What are these camps like, too, in terms of who you hang out with? Because I think fans see baseball as this 25-man team and that 25-man team, but here you guys are where you know, you're eating dinner with the big leaguers and you're eating dinner with the guys who are in the Gulf Coast League. Uh, right. I mean, you all come together as one, and you kind of get a chance to, to meet and mingle and, and be one team. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's the good part about baseball is you can you can always have new friends year to year. You've always got uh, essentially a new team, you know, because with the new guys coming in, and it's awesome that the big leaguers are going to be here for a week. You get to kind of see how they go through, you know, their routines daily because you know they've been doing it a long time, and of course you want to. You want to try to mimic what they do. Is there anybody whose back pocket you find? Do you, do you follow anybody around these, these couple <laughs> weeks? Not yet. You know, just today being the first day, I haven't quite found somebody's back pocket. But not saying that I won't do that. <laughs> Tyler Cox, uh, one of the left-handed, one of the only left-handed reliever for the Marauders in 2010. Uh, best of luck through spring training. We'll catch up with you later. All right. Thanks, Joel.